Okay. Hi, Papa. It's Nikki with So You Pick. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to make, I, I'm trying to do this at a good angle. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these. These are Olok bags, Olok bag pattern. In the comment section, I'm going to link you to the PDF document that you can download on my soyoupic.com website. And so here's just like a couple variations of ways that you can make them. You can kind of play with them and pick and choose how you want to decorate them. You can see I did some fun designing on there. And then you can also mix and match. So here's another one that I was mixing and matching. And so here is how you're going to end up with, you're going to have two outside pieces and then you're gonna also have two liners. So this is, I recommend printing the pattern out. So the pattern is here. I recommend printing it out, taping it together, cutting it out here. So it ends up being, you've got your um, blade and then the handle here, and then tape these guys together here, and then cut it out. So. On the pieces, I show you that you need, um, I wrote it double just because it's on both, but you're going to need two outside materials, two liner materials, and then two interfacing. So I like to use 987F Pilon, interf Pilon Fusible Interfacing. And so again, I show you here on the website, like I said, print it on the paper. Um, I did it on two eight and a half by 11 pages. And then I like to transfer it to like a fabric. So I will transfer it then to a fabric. So you are going to cut out two outside pieces, okay? And then you're gonna cut two inside pieces. And I want to change up the handles. So I'm gonna do my handles like this. You can see that they're much bigger than the actual material itself, but I will trim it down once it's done. And then we need a zipper. So I'm just gonna use, the longer the zipper, the better. I like longer zippers. So you can do a short zipper. This actually is only nine and a half inches wide. So you can do that. Um, Waka, again, I'm Nikki with So You Pick. My earrings are made by Maria. I will share her link in the comment. You can go and buy yourself a pair of earrings. This bus book I made for myself a long time ago, and my eyeglasses are from iBuyDirect, and I will share the link for that as well. So basically, you need two outside materials, two inside materials. If you're gonna decorate the handle, cut a piece of strip for your handle, zipper, and then we will use fusible interfacing. Like I said, I like to use the 987F fusible. You can get this from Joann's, Amazon, wherever you need it. So let's get started. We're gonna go over to the sewing machine. I'm gonna be using my Juki New Tech back there, and then uh, we're just gonna start. So follow me. All right, we're at the sewing machine now. So here's my handle, okay? Here's the blade. What you're gonna do is I am going to lay this kind of flat here and I'm just gonna sew across. I don't eyeball, I mean, I just eyeball where it is. You don't have to backstitch, you're just gonna sew across. Okay? Then you'll go to the iron and you're gonna iron this up flat. So I will show you, we're going to do both sides. Like I said, I'm on my Juki New Tech. Um, it has a cutter here. Um, it's pretty freaking cool. So I can share the model here in a sec. All right. All right. So got them both like that. We're gonna go to the iron, you're gonna iron this flat, and then I'm gonna show you here in a second.
You'll find out in my videos, I very much like to just kind of go with the flow, keep very fast and furious, and my AirPod keeps disconnecting. So we've got them ironed here. Let's go to this. Let's go to the sewing table, and we're gonna show you because we're gonna cut that excess off. We're gonna trim this down and then we're going to get the fusible and we're going to iron it to this outside material. So let's go do that. We're at the cutting table now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the extra material off to this material and then I'm going to trim it off after. And if you remember me, remember I'm not good at my videographer skills, but I'm trying. So that's what it's gonna look like. If you wanted to embellish it more, you're more than welcome to. If you wanted to put like bias or some sort of fun fabric across, you're welcome to. Uloks are, um, we use them. So Ulok translates to a woman's knife. In my blog post I shared and the post that I created, I shared the um, Yupik definition of Uluk. So you can read that there as well. And like I said, we're just gonna trim all this off. So set everything aside. This is what you end up with, okay? What we're gonna do now is we're gonna iron, we're gonna cut the fusible fleece to the outside material. I always like to cut it to the outside material. So like I said, I use 987F. It's got the one side that you can iron on. Um, if you've used it before, you know that the bumpy side is what you want on the wrong side of your material. So if you've never used it before, usually they'll print you off directions from the store on how to use them. So, but basically, there's a bumpy side, that's the glue. You're gonna wanna make sure it's on the wrong side of the material. I'm gonna cut these out. I cut them out exact because it's glue. Once these are cut out, you are going to go to the iron you're going to iron them on. After they're ironed on, you're going to start assembling. And I'll show you how to cut out your little handle, if you want a handle. Usually my kids are running in the background. I'm hoping they don't come and run in here. They might, but. <laughs> Not right now. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. And there's my two and a half year old trying to run into my video. So usually you'll see my kids running around. Um, but I'm trying to be more pro style maybe I don't know what the word is somehow okay all right so now you're gonna take those we're gonna iron them out he's really mad for the handles I will just do this, enough. this might be enough that's enough let's do this one for my handles I'll make them what did I say? Three or two and a half? Let's do three, because when I iron them, I'll show you. We're gonna do three. You can kind of make your handles whatever you want to. Um, if you wanted to make them two and a half, you can make them two and a half. So at the iron, what you're gonna do is you are going to iron this in a fold, okay? Iron that in a fold, and we're gonna iron this to that material. So let's go ahead and go do that. All right, so we are at the sewing machine. You will not see my face during all this. All right, here is our strip of 
handle. I don't know what you call it. What did we do? We did three inches. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it here, fold it here, and then you're gonna sew. If you wanted to iron at this point, you could iron, but I will just do a top stitch. And so, like I said, I'm gonna fold it in half and fold it in half, and then I'm gonna sew down one side and sew down the other. handle perfect next thing i just put my label on them my so you pick label this i got these from dutch label so i'm gonna sew my label on here all right if you wanted to you could sew in your handle. Let's see. If you wanted to sew in your handle, you could sew in your handle right now, right here. On either side, whichever side you prefer. Um, you don't have to. I don't usually. I do it afterwards. So, zipper. With the zipper side down, you can do this two ways. I like to not pin, so I'm just going to set this down here with a little bit extra there on the end. And I'm gonna just, oops, sorry. If I sew fast, I lose my camera. Sew down, okay? I'm gonna leave it down this way with my material, my lining. Always right sides together, right sides, right? Right sides together. You're gonna match it up right here where you sewed. And then I like to flip it, oops. I lost my thread. I like to flip it and sew it down. So like I said, you can sew this in two steps or one. <clears throat> you can sew it in two steps or one. So because I don't like to pin, I'll show you this way and then I'll show you the other way. Okay. Come on. All right, there we go. All right, I'm gonna just sew right down on that same line right there. Of sewing there then you're gonna flip it out and you're gonna top stitch you're gonna stitch close to the edge right there right where my nail is all right that is one way I will show the other way so you lay these right sides together right with the zipper this way like that All right, so lay it this way. And then you're going to lay this right sides together, okay? And the way that I like to do this is I will flip it back this way again. So now they're sandwiched in there and you've got three layers. If you wanna pin, you're more than welcome to pin. I just end up matching and sewing as I go. just like that <laughs> all three layers <clears throat> you always double check you make sure you got it yep I got it across so then I'm gonna flip it out here and I'm going to again stitch here top stitch so this ah, this is the top stitch you can't see because it's white but it's right there so now I'm gonna top stitch this So now you've got both sides top stitched. Next thing, because this is hard to maneuver around the edges, what you're gonna do is you're gonna sew all the way around, but you're gonna leave an opening here on the bottom. When you sew around your zipper, you need to make sure that you put the zipper on the inside of the bag. So make sure you zip it in the bag. 
I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna do this in some steps. So I'm gonna sew along the bottom of the blade on the outside. going to turn this and like I said you can all do this in one but because I'm using this machine and it's a little bit harder to maneuver around I'm gonna just do it in steps so, and I will reverse on these ones just because I'm not doing it all at once we're gonna leave our opening here at the bottom of the bag all right now we're gonna start assembling so when you're going around corners, you leave the foot in and you turn it, okay? And then over here, leave the foot in, turn it, and then go. When you sew over the zipper, I always pinch the zipper so it's going either inward or downward, basically like inward facing the bag or facing the liner whichever you prefer. Um, go slow if you've never sewn over a zipper. Um, sometimes they can break and if it breaks it could go in your eye and you don't want that. All right and then all right now I'm gonna do the other side. So I keep losing my thread. Okay, oops, I'm still getting used to the sewing machine. Okay, next step, this zipper side. So like I said, put the zipper and I'll put it all the way almost to the end because so make it easier to open and close when you flip your bag inside out. Ah, so this sewing machine, <laughs> if you do the foot a certain way, it cuts the fabric at the same time. So when you're, when I'm using this machine, I have to make sure I don't cut it, my thread. Fold your um, imkuchik, your <laughs> imkuchik is thing in your big, fold your um, handle and you're going to slide it in here. And I'll let it dangle out a little bit. And then like I said, match those zipper ends like pinch them together so that they go together okay perfect now we are going to Trim it. I think I can adjust you so you guys can see me. Okay, sorry. All right, on the corners, I like to just do a little cut here, a little cut here. Don't sew, don't cut your um, sewing. Trim the zipper ends. Make sure you kind of look all the way around the bag. Make sure you caught everything. Trim all this extra off. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go and reach through there and you are going to birth the bag. <laughs> so, Sometimes um, if you leave it too small, it's hard to get it all the way through um, and vice versa. So if you know what I mean, I'm trying not to make any silly jokes, but it's hard not to. Okay, so <laughs> uh, I need to figure out, I ordered one of those cool, um, videos that moves when you move so hopefully it'll come in and I can, it'll make my video skills much better I don't know I was trying to use my airpods to record it but I think it was cutting in and out so I don't know all right so you're just gonna push those corners out all of them all the way push it all the way out all the way out everything and then you are going to you can either hand sew or you can sew with the sewing machine this little hole here. So like I said, push everything out. Um, make sure you caught everything. And then you are going to 
fold these ends here. And you're gonna sew that shut. Let me show ya. If you wanted to, you can change your threads to black or whatever color. Um, I'm just going to leave it because these are my, these are for my classes. Okay, sewn it shut. Perfect. Okay, so. Okay, if you like this video, please don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel. Please share this. And because I'm going to be giving this bag away, you want to make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. So because I'm going to create a video, I'm gonna share this and give this away. So this is how you make an Olaf bag. If you make one, please tag me. Um, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. And I have my YouTube channel. I would love to see how you make it. Um, again, I will share the PDF document in the comments and then I will also Whenever I get a minute, I will share the step-by-step. Oyana Chuck Norris, um, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. If you make this and uh, post it anywhere, please tag me. Oyana!